Um, I was drove down the street like any other day, pulled in the guy's driveway, wasn't stopped at any point by anybody, sat there, did some paperwork for about five minutes. Um, gentleman came out, uh, was allowed to walk in front of my car, down the side of my car, and we he gets in. We basically had a little conversation on where we were going, how much the fare was going to be. Uh, he paid me. We proceeded to leave. And that's when I heard, stop, put the car in park, look in the mirror, and I just see a bunch of cops with their guns drawn on my cab. At that point, uh, I said to myself, basically a little out loud, I said, it's the cops. A little confused. And I looked over my shoulder, basically not directly at the gentleman, but I was looking at my cigarettes. And out of the corner of my eye, I said to this gentleman, I think they're here to speak with you. And as I leaned over to grab those cigarettes, that's when all hell broke loose. That's when the bomb went off and I was sitting in the front seat, scared shitless, yelling, I'm only the driver. It was a huge, huge bang. The car kind of shook a little bit and then it was just smoke and ash everywhere. And why did you not get hurt? It, when I, I didn't get hurt, I believe, because of grabbing that cigarette package that by when I reached over to grab it, my entire body was covered by the back of the front seat because it was a full bench seat. When that bomb went off, it was a seat and my cigarettes that saved my butt that day. While I was lying in the car, I could just hear a lot of yelling, hands out, hands out. And th there was just a lot of commotion. And after I had exited the car as I was laying there, that's when I heard one officer yell, he's still twitching. At that point, I heard four or five more shots then it was complete silence. And at that point is when the officers told me to stay very low, come down the driveway over to them, and then they escorted me around the back of a vehicle and then over to another gentleman who took me to the EMT.